do we continue to hold in our hearts the stories that have pulsed on these lands for thousands of years as we honor all those who have whose people have have been here for so long and had so many hard times we want to pull together and i thought of this book that we have loved before called fry bread a Native American family story, and it's written by Kevin Noble Maillard, and it's illustrated by Juana Martinez Neal. Um, and I know we don't talk about fry bread around here nearly as much as the word bannock. That's the word we use for bread uh, here. And I, there's a page in this book that talks about so many different tribes that are in the United States. And here in Canada on Treaty One land, I thought I would just mention and honor the peoples who have been on this land, on this territory for thousands of years, some more, some longer than others, but that this is traditional land of the Anishinaabe, Cree, Oji Cree, Dakota, Dene peoples. This is also the birthplace of the Métis Nation here on Treaty One territory. So if you aren't here on Treaty One territory, if you're watching this story from somewhere else, Feel free if you're curious today to see if you can know maybe your people are people who have been on your land for thousands of years, hundreds of years, some longer than others. But maybe you want to take some time today to see if you can find out and know and honor who, which peoples have been in your space um, and made it their home and cared for it. Uh, for longer than maybe your family, if you're a settler family like I am. So let's read together fry bread, or as we tend to hear here, bannock. Whoa, look at that scrumptious pile of bannock. Fry bread is food, flour, salt, water, cornmeal, baking powder, perhaps milk, maybe sugar, all mixed together in a big bowl. Fry bread is shape. Hands mold the dough flat like a pancake, round like a ball, or puffy like Nana's softest pillow. Fry bread is sound. The skillet clangs on the stove. The fire blazes from below. Drop the dough in the skillet. The bubbles sizzle and pop. Fry bread is color. Golden brown, tan or yellow. Deep like coffee, sienna or earth. Light like snow and cream. Warm like rays of sun. Oh, I'm getting hungry. Fry bread is flavor. See beans or soup, smell tacos, cheese and vegetables, delight in honey and jam, rise to discover what brings us together. So much food to share. Fry bread is time. On weekdays and holidays, supper or dinner, powwows and festivals, moments together with family and friends. Fry bread is art, sculpture, landscape, portrait, our daily craft, shared from teacher to student, a cycle of heritage and fortune. Fry bread is history, the long walk, the stolen land, strangers in our world with unknown food. We made new recipes from what we had. Fry bread is place. Alaska, Kansas, all the way to Maine, down to Delaware, on to Georgia, over to Oklahoma, Colorado, and California cities and lands we call home. And for those of us in Canada, we could list a whole bunch of other places here too. Fry bread is nation, Abenaki, Apache, 
Arapo Paho, Ojibwe Onondaga, Oglala Sioux, Narragansett, Navajo, Nipmuc, Seminole, Shoshone, Sac and Fox, hundreds and hundreds of tribes. I don't know if you can see, but there's so many written on the back. Fry bread is everything. Round, flat, large, small, north, south, east, west, brown, yellow, black, white, familiar and foreign, old and new. We come together. Fry bread is us. We are still here, elder and young, friend and neighbor. So much togetherness. I'm noticing how happy they all seem to be together. We strengthen each other to learn, change, and survive. Fry bread is you. <laughs> I'll hold this up. You can pause and take a picture if you want of this recipe, or maybe you have your own that you love and you'll make today. <laughs> 